And now to some positive news. Has the world found a cure for HIV AIDS? The trends are encouraging. A fifth person has been cured of HIV. Remember, this disease was once thought to be incurable. A fifth success story is indeed promising. But don't start writing obituaries for contraceptive companies just yet. The cure is complicated. All the patients, including the latest one, suffered from both cancer and HIV. They were cured after undergoing stem cell transplantation. The cure is a cancer treatment that has the side effect of curing HIV. And of course, the procedure is both risky and extremely expensive. Despite all this, it's positive news, we say, and something to cheer about. Here's more. Another person has been cured of HIV. This brings the number up to five. The patient is a 53-year-old German man, codenamed the Dusseldorf patient to protect his privacy. He, like all the others who've been cured, suffered from both HIV and cancer. He underwent a stem cell transplantation surgery in 2013 to treat his cancer. The transplantation happened to cure his HIV. In 2019, the Dusseldorf patient stopped taking his HIV treatment. Now, four years later, doctors have declared that he's HIV free. It isn't just a long remission, he's been cured. So how does the cure work? Let's start with the basics. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It's a virus that attacks our body's immune system, rendering it all but useless. When this happens, the patient is said to suffer from AIDS, or Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. HIV and AIDS are not synonyms. HIV is the virus. It can be contained. Contracting HIV was a death sentence in the 1980s. That was the peak of the global HIV-AIDS epidemic. Now. People use medicines to keep the virus in check. It's called antiretroviral therapy. This therapy can contain HIV, stop people from passing it on, and generally help patients live an almost normal life. But HIV still could not be cured. That's where the new cure comes in. You see, some people in the world are almost completely immune to HIV. It's because of a genetic mutation. It prevents the virus from affecting a person's immune system. So doctors take the cells from such a person and transplant them in an HIV patient. It has happened in the case of all of those who've been cured. They've all had stem cell transplants. Stem cells are the cells that make your blood. They're located in the bone marrow. In all five cases, the stem cells from an immune person were transferred into the cancer and HIV patients. Uh, the stem cell transplant, what it's going to do is to replace the immune cells from the uh, patient uh, with, uh, with uh, immune cells from the, from the donor. And in the case of uh, people with HIV, this means that the immune cells from the donor are going to replace and destroy the immune cells that are those carrying HIV in the patients. If we know this works, why aren't we making this cure widely available? Because it's risky. Stem cell transplants are dangerous. They're only used on cancer patients when there are no other options. The second problem is the cost. Stem cell transplants aren't cheap. In the US, they can cost anywhere between $25,000 to even $100,000. The treatment is available in India as well, but costs between 15 to 25 lakh rupees. The third issue is finding stem cell donors who are immune to HIV. Only 1% of all humans are immune to HIV. And most of them happen to be white people. So until they start donating their stem cells, or we artificially create HIV immune stem cells, there will always be a shortage. Despite the challenges, the cure offers valuable information. It provides insights that could help us eradicate HIV. This is clearly a, 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 an exciting uh, result, but it's not the therapeutic solution for everyone, for uh, every person living with HIV. Uh, however, this is showing us that we have a the possibility of reproduce an outcome of uh, HIV cure using a therapeutic intervention. While the end of HIV AIDS may still be decades away, the latest report also brings hope to the millions living with the disease.